good morning student today's chapter that is chapter number 5 separate separation of substances already we have studied separating of substances now already i have already discussed regarding introduction part of this chapter now we'll learn that methods of separation how you separate a substance from a mixture so we know that mixture are in varying in size they are very in size means they are smaller as well as larger in one if you separate mangoes and guava easy, easily from a basket if you mix mangoes and guava easily you can separate it actually if you if i give a substance which is smaller than the mangoes and guava it is difficult to separate for example in sand i will mix sugar or i will mix some other uh, substance which is smaller in size is it possible to separate it it will take time but it is impossible to separate so with the 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 substances which are very very small cannot be separated easily with by with the help of hand thinking or by anything by any means but it is possible there are various methods so we'll discuss some simple methods of separating substance that are mixed together so you may come across some of these methods being used in day to day activities first first example and picking what is that and picking so this is and picking first one is and picking so bring a pocket of grain purchased from the shop to the classroom what it now now spread the grain on a sheet of paper on a sheet of paper on a sheet of paper do you find only one kind of grain on the sheet of paper no along with the grain you will find small small stones and some other husk or broken stalk or some dirt present in the grain you will not find only grain in the sheet of paper so what you have to do you have to separate it you have to separate it you have to separate it are there fi- are there pieces of stone ask ask means the broke uh, if you after you are taking a rice grain on a mill what happened the rice is separated the white part of the rice is separated and the ask the uh, after covering of a grain is separated that is known as ask this ask broken grains or particles of any other grain in it we we find in that purchased grain will find different types of ask or broken grain or particles are present so now we have to remove it we are not consuming all those we are separating how you have to separate with the help of hand this method is of hand picking can be used for separating slightly larger size impurities like the pieces of dirt stone and ask from wheat rice or pulses so this is li- little bit larger in size so that we we can pick we can separate it with the help of hand by hand picking that pro- method is known as hand picking so the quantity of such impurities is usually not very large you'll find in rice or grain or pulses or wheat those quantities are not very large in size they are little bit smaller in size compared to mangoes guavas or all those so usually it is easy to separate it with the help of hand we find that hand picking is a convenient method of convenient method of separating substances so by hand pick by with the help of hand we can separate those substances now we'll study now we'll study next topic is that is threshing what is that threshing this is threshing threshing means you you must have seen bundle of wheat or paddy stock lying on the field after harvesting if you see in the villages after harvesting you will find a bundle of stock lying on the uh, uh, paddy field or we can say wheat field so what happened in the stock there are grains are uh, st- stuck on it you will bunch of grains you will find in one stock so what happened so harvesting the crop the stocks are dried in the sun before the grain is separated from them why it is easily it will it can be separated if you if you don't dry on the sun sunlight it's it cannot be easily separated from the stock the grains are not easily se- separated so each stock has many grains seed attached to it imagine the number of grains seed is 100 of bundles 
of stock lying on the field how does the farmer separate grain seed from those bundles of stock so uh, how we have to separate those bundle of stock where the thousands of seeds are attached in it or we can say hundred of seeds are attached in one stock so how they are separating initially they are drying on the sunlight after drying on the sunlight what happened they are taking on a, a flan uh, area one may pluck mangoes or guava from a tree but grain seed are not much smaller than that we cannot um, uh, pick it. it it is possible but it, it, it will take more time it will consume more time so it is uh, it is it is not convenient to pick with the help of n with the help of n we cannot separate those uh, seed or we can say seed grains which are uh, stuck on the or which, which are attached on the stock of a bundle of stock we can say now we'll study so how does the farmer separate grain seed from those bundles of stock one may pluck mangoes or gava i already told so plucking them from their stock would be impossible how does one separate grain seed from their stock how they are doing in villages if you go what happened the process that is used to separate grain from stock is threshing that is threshing threshing in not only by threshing the uh, threshing means in your mind it is coming that some uh, you are taking the bundle of you are eating on the ground that is the one process of threshing but also they what happen they will uh, they will make the bullocks to walk over the stock of bundle of stock of this uh, uh, grains so the, the stocks are beaten to free the grain seed they are beaten as well sometime they will use the bullocks to walk on the uh, grain what it now so sometime threshing is done with the help of bullocks machines are also used to thresh large quantity of grains in large quantities in villages it is small in quantity so you you can with the help of bullocks or by threshing you can separate it but in large quantities by those who are using commercially so they can be, cannot be separated by, by with the help of bullocks or by threshing they use machines thresher machines so this mixture on plate or a newspaper now what do you have to do So now, uh, this is this is first, first is end packing. End packing is little larger than larger size than what larger size than mango or guava. We can say fed, fed, uh, this uh, seed or grain which are attached to the wheat or heady stock that is, is smaller in size, but it is uh, hundreds and hundreds of uh, seeds are attached in one stock, so it is impossible to uh, separate it. So they are using bullock carts or they are by threshing or by using machines they are separating the mixture by also we can separate the uh, uh, some seeds by winnowing winnowing means in villages most probably they follow this method so make a mixture of dry sand with sawdust or powdered dry leaves keep keep this mixture on a plate or a newspaper look at this mixture carefully can the dif two different components be made out of easily are the size of particles of the two components similar? Would it be impossible to separate the components by end picking? So now take your mixture to an open ground and stand on a raised platform. Put the mixture in a plate or a sheet of paper. Hold the plate or the sheet or the sheet of paper containing the mixture at your shoulder height. Tilt it slightly so that the mixture slide out slowly. What happened? You are in, in paddy field, if you go paddy field, if you find in plain area, what they they will do with the help of wind, with the blow, blowing of wind, what they will they will take one in a basket or in a container, they will take some seed from from a solder right. What I mean, they will just drop the seed down. Sorry, what happened with the help of with the help of wind? What happened? Those seeds which are very light or those dry leaves or some dust, they will blown away by the air and the once we require the seeds which are heavier which are which which we need that is dropped at the um, vertically at the down place at the place where you are collecting the seeds what happened do both the components sand and sawdust fall at the same place no sawdust or sand will also blown by the wind and the seeds will drop at the at the same place so the, the is there a component that blows away yes there is there are some components which are blown away that is sand and sawdust did the wind manage to separate the 
செப்பரேட் தான் ஸோ செப்பரேட் த த்ரூ கம்பனன் எஸ் திஸ் மெத்தட் ஆஃப் செப்பரேட்டிங் கம்பனன்ஸ் ஆஃப் மிக்சர் இஸ் கால்ட் வினைங் வினைங் இஸ் யூஸ் டு செப்பரேட் ஹெவியர் அண்ட் லைட்டர் கம்பனன் ஆஃப் மிக்சர் பை விண்ட் ஆர் பை ப்ளோயிங் ஏர் சம்டைம் இஃப் தெர் இஸ் நோ நேச்சுரல் ஹேர் ஆர் வி கேன் சே தெர் இஸ் நோ வின் ஸோ தே வில் யூஸ் சம் ஃபேன் ஃபார் ஃபார் ப்ரொடியூசிங் சம் ஃபோர்ஸ் ஆஃப் வின் ஸோ தட் கேன் வித் த ஹெல்ப் ஆஃப் வின் தே கேன் செப்பரேட் த பை ப்ளோயிங் ஹேர் தே கேன் செப்பரேட் த சீட் திஸ் இஸ் ஆல்சோ ஒன் இஸ் த மெத்தட் ஆஃப் செப்பரேட்டிங் சீட்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் டஸ்ட் ஆர் சோ டஸ்ட் தட் இஸ் வெரி ஸ்மால் சப்ஸ்டன்சஸ் விச் ஆர் மிக்ஸ்ட் இன் இட் ஸோ நவ் வில் சீ Well, this method is uh, commonly used by farmers to separate lighter ash particles. Ash means, I already told, from heavier seeds of grain. The ash particles are carried away by the wind. The seeds of grain get separated and from a heap near the platform for winnowing. The separate ash is used for many purposes, such as powder for kettles. So, whatever, the leftover, the leftover uh, substances from the food grains are used for fodder. Fodder means, what is fodder? Fodder means, the food which are used for feeding the kettles fodder uh, fodder means the food the food product which are used for feeding the kettles are known as what that is fodder now we will study sieving what is sieving sometime we may wish to prepare a dish with flour we need to remove impurities and bran uh, bran that may be present in it what do you do we use a sieve and for the uh, flour in it in into it sieving allows the fine fa- uh, flour particle to pass through the holes of the sieve while the bigger impurities remain on remain on the on the sieve to separate pebbles and stone from the sand you will find in villages you will find uh, one container one, there will be one uh, uh, steel made with steel and it will, it will be like a container there will be small small holes are provided so that one what, what happen if you take a seeds which are smaller in size that that will pass through the holes and it will be separated so this is sieve so bring a sieve and a small quantity of flour from home to the classes sieve the flour to separate any impurities in it now make a fine powder of chalk fish and make it with the flour can we separate the flour and the powder of chalk by sieving sieving is used when component of a mixture have different size same size cannot be separated so they they must have different uh, size then only we can separate it so we today's chapter will learn that um, methods of separation first one is threshing second one uh, first one is hand picking uh, threshing and then sieving these three methods are usually followed in our day to day life to separate mi- uh, from a substance from a mixture so they have a variety of size uh, they are following different methods thank you